Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great uh, weekend. Thank you for joining me today. So we're going to find out what is your reputation. Let's see guys, through your pile, one, two, three, as usual, which I will insert right now and I'm going for pile number one. Hi pile one, if you chose this card with this lady, it says daughter of the sacred heart. This reading is for you. If you would like a personal reading from me, I do offer a same day reading for $20 where you can ask up to three questions. And also check out guys my announcement for my Patreon account. It will be open until end of April 2024, so check it out if you like. Alright, so let's start. Let's see guys what is your reputation. So there is a quote over here, it says, every saint has a past, every sinner has a future. And I noticed it, and I feel, guys, that uh, maybe some people think that you have a past, maybe they think that you guys have uh, overcome some difficulties, you know, with the past over here. I also just heard that uh, some people from your past think about you. Maybe some people judge you, maybe they think that you had um, like an interest in the past here for some reason. And also here with every sinner has a future. I feel like a lot of people think that you have a bright future, that you have a lot of potential. But I feel here because this woman is uh, trying to cover her ears, I feel like in the past maybe people's opinion was important to you but not anymore. You're going to do your thing and you don't care. And I also just heard that uh, some of you guys might have uh, had a huge change in your life. Like a glow up or maybe, guys, uh, you did something that people didn't expect, right? And uh, they were very surprised by that. I also get that you are very attractive here, very beautiful. So your reputation, I feel, is that you are a strong person. That you have overcome a lot. That you have a lot of potential. And I just heard for some of you guys, people uh, believe that uh, you might be a bit cold or a bit bitchy sometimes or something like that. Maybe you have learned from the past, from difficulties, to have stronger boundaries. And some people maybe don't like that, you know what I mean. I also get some envy coming through. Some women from the past as well, they are envying you. Could be because of your beauty or because of um, that you have improved your life in some way or another. And they are jealous of that. Maybe they are jealous of your success here as well. Okay, very interesting. Let's see now. I will draw the cards and let's find out guys together. What is your reputation? Let's see. Alright, pile one. So here you got the strength card. And with the strength, I, I feel like you guys have the heart of the lion here. You're a very strong person. And uh, people know that. Maybe that's why they perceive you to be a little bit bitchy. Could be a little bit distant sometimes, you know. Uh, they think that you guys um, might be selfish. People might think that you are... A little bit snobbish from the point of view that you guys might be a bit detached, even cold sometimes, because here we have the hermit. So you might be withdrawn. And we also have Queen of Cups. And in this deck, the Queen of Cups um, has this uh, cold exterior, if you notice, right? She's looking with these eyes, the cold eyes. So perhaps, guys, because of your past here, because you have um, maybe endured some difficulties, you had to toughen up, you know. And of course, having boundaries is a very good thing, but sometimes people can perceive that uh, here as, uh, you know, being snobbish in some type of way. But I also feel, guys, I get a message that uh, a lot of people are intimidated by you, maybe because of your exterior or your uh, character here. Because uh, when someone is very strong in their character, People get intimidated and I think here also people, especially women, get uh, threatened by you. 
because underneath the strength we have also six of um, wands so definitely you guys stand out from the crowd and the thing is here that uh, you might have some uh, resting bee face about you you know I'm not saying that you're cold because I don't feel that but it's your way to protect yourself and I feel you guys have very strong boundaries and uh, people that haven't been awakened yet and haven't worked on themselves might be triggered by you a lot because they think guys that you believe that you're above them in some way right you might as well be very attractive here because you have six of wands you also have Queen of Wands, we have Queen of Cups and the Empress. So this combination here is fatal, I feel, and uh, <laughs> we also have the Tower, right? The Tower card, which came up in reverse, so I will take it like that uh, today, because I feel I should. So you guys know who you are with the Empress. I feel like you have worked on yourself or, or you were forced to work on yourself because of these difficulties and you had to toughen up, you had to learn a lot of lessons, uh, maybe you guys learned a lot of karmic lessons and you decided not to take that uh, BS anymore because this Empress here is, uh, has her eyes closed, you see. And I feel guys that you, you are going to accept only the things that you have decided to accept. And this is very triggering to people around you because uh, not everybody is that strong. Everybody is on different, uh, you know, stages on their journey. So this might trigger a lot of people. Definitely your appearance here is striking. Because uh, guys, uh, six of wands, you also have here nine of cups. Queen of wands, uh, people find you very fiery sometimes. Despite your uh, rest in B phase, maybe your actions speak for themselves, you know. And also, maybe you guys are very sexy, maybe you know how to dress in that way, in a sexy way. But I feel you guys have this uh, sophisticated style about you, you know. It's not a ratchet, that's what I mean. And because of that, People assume that uh, you're financially secure and they might get even jealous because of that. And they are thinking uh, inside, who do you think you are and stuff like that. That's what I'm hearing right now. But you definitely know who you are because uh, I see the lion and the tiger. And you know you're strong, you know you're attractive. You know that you deserve the best with the Empress card over here. And I feel you're not afraid to show yourself to the world with your style, uh, you know, with your actions, you're very bold, I feel. With strength and six of wands and the queen of wands, I feel that you have confidence, but this confidence uh, came lately. In your recent years, I don't feel like it was from the beginning, because I also see some sensitivity inside you. Maybe when you were a teenager, you know, or a little bit later on, until later on. You were very romantic, you had dreams, and then you realized some stuff, maybe you had some karmic lessons here. With the awakening in the tower. And you understand that you have to put this exterior in order to protect yourself. And there's nothing wrong with that, of course. So people see you as very attractive here, with all of these queens. Uh, very beautiful. Very well put together. Very confident. Uh, very sexy, very sensual, like you're a boss here, I feel, because you have strength in the Empress. Maybe you're a business owner for some of you guys. They also see you as someone uh, that is very astute, very smart. Also someone that uh, has a lot of self-awareness about you. People don't think here that you're stupid. On the contrary. Also, some of you guys might be very spiritual and some people in your life know that and you have this reputation of working on yourself. And uh, here with the awakening in the tower, I feel as I said in the beginning, something happened in your life, something major and you had to change because of that. As I said here with the past that I saw before, maybe it was something dramatic or maybe it was uh, something minor. But whatever that was, uh, people uh, talk about it. 
or maybe guys it's a, a glow up that you had or maybe it's a difference a change in your uh, perspective here and your attitude so with the tower in reverse i feel like you guys are a person that you are very strong and you're not going to let any bs affect you and here we also have ten of swords so maybe guys uh, there was a dark period in your life in the past and you're able to overcome that because of your strength and now with the seven of cups uh, your reputation is that you have a lot of options could be guys uh, romantically so people know that you have options maybe you are very popular maybe you have an online presence here with the six of wands not necessarily though but here I feel like with the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups clarifying it, I feel like people know that no matter what happens in your life, that you're not going to sit there and chase nobody or beg nobody. Despite your pain, you're going to move quickly away from that because you have options here, you know, and you don't have to take it. And it's like, uh, you know here your power, and uh, this fact is very, very empowering for you. And I really admire that, uh, guys, about you. Because uh, not a lot of people can do that. And it shows me that you indeed have worked on yourself. That you're uh, spiritually elevated here, you know. You have worked on your mentality. And that's really great. And the chariot again tells me that you're a very determined person that you overcome obstacles no matter what and no matter what happens you are going to show yourself to the world as very well put together as uh, unaffected, you know as very strong and with the nine of cups people might think, guys, you have the reputation that you have everything that you need that you might be even financially very secure here and also you have the reputation that uh, a lot of men are giving to you, a lot of men might uh, court you and also a lot of men would like to provide for you because I see these, these are like um, jewelry here. Maybe people think that you can uh, manage that with your charm here, that you have a huge impact on men and uh, men are so charmed by you that uh, they are quick to satisfy every need that you have, you know. Even with gifts, with jewelry, or whatever that is, that they can provide for you, you know. And here we have three of wands, and the three of wands speaking about planning for the future, being strategic, always looking forward in your life. And yes, you have this power. You guys use your brain here, and um, you're going to leave behind whatever doesn't serve you, because I feel like you guys want a better life for yourself and you're working on that here we also have six of pentacles so with this card I feel like a lot of people try to imitate you you know because I see these ladies looking the same but nevertheless with the six of pentacles and the queen of wands uh, you guys are very fair I feel and you might even be generous sometimes with people and I say fair because yes you're going to be giving but only to people that deserve it you're not going to waste your energy on undeserving situations or people. So very strong person in this pile. I love it. Let's get some oracle cards now to find out a little bit more. Okay guys, we have fertility with the watermelon, they see here the Leo sign, so as far as the zodiac signs, we have Leo with strength, we have Cancer, we have here Virgo, the Hermit, we have uh, water signs and uh, fire signs, so you could be Cancer by Scorpio or you could be Aries Leo Sagittarius, right? So here with the fertility, uh, you have the reputation, maybe you are young guys, so you have this youthful appearance to you. 
and also maybe you have an hourglass figure for some so your body people are talking about your body I feel uh, your sexiness also we have leadership we have here Gemini so yes as I told you with the Empress some of you might be a boss so you have this reputation that you have leadership qualities as well we have tranquility and I told you guys before that you might have this um, coldness to you sometimes right you're on your face maybe you have a resting bee face maybe you have this calm exterior to you we have also victory and the six of wands is also speaking about victory here so maybe you're very successful but I also see guys here this crown so definitely people uh, perceive you as a queen here very powerful we have duality with the banana so the duality I think pertains to the fact that sometimes you're the um, queen of wands and sometimes you might be this more gentle uh, person with the queen of cups over here and some other times I feel you have the energy of a queen of swords so you're multidimensional here we have vitality and this is again symbol of fertility here and temptation so a lot of people are tempted by you I see also the Taurus symbol so also guys uh, some of you might be very healthy you might eat healthy exercise and you have this reputation about you we have courage so with the courage yes this is speaking about the strength card you and also the chariot card that you're very courageous very determined and uh, you're going to cut off whatever doesn't serve you whatever you don't like you also have attraction so yes people uh, talk about how attractive you are we have also wholeness and hope so with the wholeness I get that you guys uh, might have worked on yourself as I said before and you are spiritually evolved here I see Aquarius sign you also have hope so no matter what you are going to plan for the future and you are going to walk forward in your life you are not going to sit there and uh, think back or look back no this is not you and here we have wildness so yes, you are very very strong inside, you have this uh, wild nature about you, very courageous, very determined and that's why people get intimidated by you. We have soulmate and we also have here in tune and love. So I feel with these cards that uh, people that you have romantic relationships with, they know that you guys uh, have this gentle side to you, right? maybe that's your reputation from your uh, past people that know you a little bit better we have here blocked so I feel like guys with a blocked you don't hesitate to move completely away from toxic situations and you're going to block these people that uh, give you an attitude or are toxic or you know you don't play with BS here I feel and then uh, you have this reputation right we have wisdom, definitely, you're very wise here and you learned a lot of lessons, I feel karmic lessons in your life finder of lost things and we also have the sorrow so this is very similar to the ten of swords that we saw before so I feel like you had to make a major decision here in your life to overcome these difficulties and you had to exercise your strength of character a lot and you found the path here your own path and I feel like you guys uh, are unapologetic here and congrats for that <laughs> we have here the eagle again a symbol of being free of strength of following your own path here and not following the mass you know and this is really admirable and that's why people uh, might give you the side eye sometimes because like, they think that uh, you know how come have intuition and wise before so maybe you guys have some sort of um, psychic abilities maybe it's because you have worked on your soul's mission some of you guys you also have reflection so sometimes maybe you withdraw also with the hermit card before and you also have guys a lot of self-awareness about you and here we have the prince so this is uh, what I told you before that a lot of men 
uh, want to provide for you and want to treat you like a princess here. You give these vibes, you know. And uh, yeah, we have here healing. Definitely you had to heal your past, past trauma here, I feel, guys. And uh, here we have creativity. I feel like this pertains to your confidence, your ability to be sexy in a sophisticated way. And also we have the rebel. Definitely following your own path here, unapologetically, and not caring about what people, uh, you know, think about you. So that's really wonderful, guys. I love it for you. If you resonate with these messages and this reading, you can give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, pal. To welcome, guys, if you chose this card with the medicine wisdom with this beautiful lady. This reading is for you. If you would like a personal reading from me, I do for a same day reading for $20, where you can ask up to three questions, and I also have a Patreon account with 18 plus readings. It will be open until uh, the end of April 2024. You can still benefit from it if you like, guys. Otherwise, uh, check my description box. I have an announcement there for you. Let's see what about you guys and uh, what's your reputation here. So in the background here, it's written beautiful. And of course, this lady is very beautiful. So you have the reputation to be very attractive, I feel. And something about your face. You might have uh, very striking features on your face, I feel. Your eyes, your eyebrows, your lips, everything about your face. So I feel also, guys, that you leave a huge impact on people, like you are very memorable for some reason. You might be very mysterious, you might be very hard to figure out, I get. You give me here the impression of the High Priestess because the Medicine Wisdom is speaking about someone that uh, might be practicing, you know. You might be a witch, not necessarily of course. You might be a psychic, but uh, nevertheless I feel like you have this uh, inner wisdom about you. You see the world with different eyes. You might see things that other people don't see. And you're very smart. And if people don't know that about you, maybe unconsciously they feel that uh, there is something very special about you. Uh, you have this mystic vibe about you, I feel. Yes, you have this mystery and this uh, intrigues people, you know. Also, I see here this butterfly in the background. There is also here a butterfly. So maybe guys, you have this transformative energy about you about transforming people's lives, people's uh, perspective on how they view things. I feel like uh, you were a catalyst to a lot of people. Maybe guys you are or you were in the past karmic person for a lot of people in your life. I'm not talking only about romantically but also in a platonic way here. So you might say something for example and this makes people think, you know. You have a different perspective here on things. And that's why you have this huge impact on people around you, which is very, very interesting here. Alright, let's see more. I will draw now the tarot cards. Let's find out what's your reputation here. Okay, pal too. So I told you before here that you give me the impression that you are the High Priestess and we got here first card, the High Priestess, as you can see. And you also have the Magician card. So perhaps some of you guys might be a witch here. Not all, of course, but I feel like you guys have uh, some psychic powers here, definitely. A lot of you. Uh, some of you know, a lot of you know, maybe some of you don't know it yet. Maybe you have a very heightened intuition, but you haven't explored it, you know, further. But nevertheless, people can pick up on that subconsciously, that there is something special about you. You have the self-awareness, this wisdom about you, uh, also this mystery. You have these witchy vibes that uh, draw people in, not only romantically, but in general. In your life so there is something very special about you either people know 
what is that exactly or you or don't because I feel some of you guys uh, haven't explored this part of you yet but most of you I feel that you have and you know maybe guys are a tarot reader here some of you because uh, we have high priestess it's clarified with the two of swords so maybe you guys um, because of that because you have this uh, high intuition here you know maybe you are on the verge to leave your current job in order to embark on this journey of tarot reading you know just for some not all of you you also have here the moon definitely you have uh, some powers here guys your intuition here is uh, off the charts okay very interesting here so nevertheless as i told you people uh, can sense that you're very wise so i noticed here in your spread you have a lot of kings you have here king of cups king of swords and you also have here king of pentacles and you got all of these kings and not queens so this is very special to me at least it tells me guys that uh, you have this masculine side this masculine energy and spirit urges you to use it because uh, feminine side is about intuition about being passive right a lot of times and the masculine side is maybe a side of you that you haven't tapped in yet and spirit advise you to really look into that you know because uh, yes you're very powerful here but if you tap in both sides of yourself yeah. this will help you tremendously in your job in your career in your uh, romantic relationships everywhere so this is here a side message for you to help you right okay guys so here with the king of swords i feel guys that you you might be sometimes a little bit sharp with people but definitely you're very perceptive here very analytical and um, what's your reputation here your reputation is that you make people regret they regret their decisions they regret everything the past people right people from the past or even from the present i get here people that uh, might have mistreated you they regret it here with the five of cups and they wish that they didn't uh, act that way with you because then they realize your power and they realize that you are indeed very strong here with the strength card you have strength of mind strength of character but because also you guys are here the king of cups people underestimate you maybe sometimes but the thing is that they regret it after a while and i feel like uh, they share this with some other people in their life that they shouldn't have mistreated you or treated you that way so they wish they could they could turn back in time right and change their uh, attitude because they realize that you're a person that is stronger than they thought maybe they see us very gentle here with the king of cups in the beginning because you also have here guys temperance so maybe you appear very calm very cool and collected i get here that you guys don't like drama you just uh, cut off people with your actions and you're not going to sit there and wonder why you just cut off people because we have five of uh, pentacles and i feel like you guys leave or you left people in the past that behave in a certain way so you just left here with the two of wands two of wands speaking about making a decision and i feel like you choose yourself you know so yes i feel you guys are very self-aware here some similarities pile number one but i feel uh, that you might have a more gentle exterior here and also with the moon you appear guys to be very feminine and very sweet sometimes and that's why maybe people underestimate your power maybe they underestimate your uh, brain as well you know your mind but then they realize because in the beginning here with the high priestess they cannot figure you out especially with the two of swords underneath maybe you're a person that doesn't want to show off you know everything about them and people are left confused about your life about uh, what's going on with you also i get here with the five of cups and five of pentacles sometimes you guys uh, might keep to yourself you might be withdrawn you might prefer to spend time alone here with the four of swords you know to relax 
to gather your strength, to gather your energy, because maybe you guys are an empath here and your energy is depleted very easily when interacting with people and then uh, you choose to withdraw, to retract a little bit. And that's very healthy. You should continue doing that. But some people, uh, because of that, they don't know what's going on with you. And uh, there is this mystery surrounding you, you see. So maybe because of that, because you keep to yourself, people underestimate you. And then they realize that you're actually a lion here. And you're not uh, to be messed with. And here with the King of Cups, uh, guys, you have this other side to you. That can be generous with people. Giving with people, you know. Very kind. So you also have this reputation here. You're also very self-aware, emotionally mature, I feel. And you have this ability to balance your emotions with the temperance. You don't like drama, I feel. And you guys are very grounded here with the King of Pentacles, right? You might as well be financially secure for some of you. You might be successful because I also see here we have the Devil clarified with the Sun. So maybe with these two cards you have a lot of abundance in your life, financial abundance, material abundance. And that's your reputation in some cases for some of you guys. You might be very successful here. And I also see this flower. I feel guys with that that you're very very feminine. Very beautiful here. You have also very sensual energies about you with the devil. And I feel like people get attached to you very easily because uh, your energy not only your appearance, they're both very intoxicating to people. And sometimes when the opposite gender meets you, they feel a strong uh, attachment to you, strong desire with a strength card over here. And sometimes they're wondering, it's like they feel uh, that you put a spell on them. Especially here with these uh, witchy vibes that you have, right? It's like they cannot explain why they are so drawn to you. What's your secret here, you know? What have you done with them? That's how I feel. Because these people uh, feel like uh, they are on fire for you. And even though they might not know you that well, they feel already very, very drawn to you. Very attached to your energy. And here we have also Eight of Wands, clarified with the Magician. As I said before, guys, you're a multidimensional person. With the Eight of Wands, you're a person that takes action, I feel. Maybe that's why you're very successful here. You like to take action no matter what because you're very strong. And I feel that you guys are very successful indeed. With a magician you have a lot of willpower about you. So here it tells me that your reputation is that you guys are very creative, action-oriented, goal-oriented, very focused on your job. Perhaps uh, you're very good at what you're doing. If that pertains to your job or your art or whatever that is, a hobby or something, people feel like uh, you're very good at it, I feel. And I feel that you guys are very, very creative here. Whatever you're doing, whatever you touch with your hands, uh, it becomes very good eventually and people admire that about you. Also, the Magician card is about manifestation and I feel that you have this power, even if you don't know it, guys. You can look into it, how to manifest, and I feel that you have this naturally, you can manifest easily here. Or maybe you have already manifested a lot of things into your life, and people are wondering around, how come uh, could you manage all of these things, you know, because maybe you look on the surface like this gentle uh, person, this kind person, maybe meek also for some of you, you know, that avoids drama at all costs. And they see on the other side that you take a lot of action, that you manage a lot of things. Maybe you are also very financially abundant here. And so they are wondering here. There is this wonder inside. Even some jealousy coming through for some of you guys. All right, very interesting. Both piles today are very juicy here. A lot of stuff coming through. So let's see. I will draw now the oracle cards. Let's find out a little bit more of uh, what's your reputation. Let's see. So, pile 2, you have here grounding, and as I told you before, 
people perceive you as a grand person, very stable person, emotionally stable, you know. And there is this moon and the sun in the background. So you have both sides, both feminine and masculine. I feel like uh, on the outside appearance, you have feminine appearance, right? And on the inside, you have this uh, masculine traits like uh, taking action, as I told you before, strength of character, and the ability to walk away, the willingness to walk away whenever necessary, to protect yourself. Here we have healing. So a lot of you guys have psychic abilities here, maybe you are a healer. We have here Taurus, zodiac sign. We have clarity, and there is this eye. Definitely, guys, you have the knowing here. You are very intuitive and very wise. And you have clarity in a lot of stuff. As I told in the beginning, you see and you understand some stuff that other people don't. Intuitively, from your spirit guides from the universe, you get some messages here. And also we had before the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is also a smart person that has clarity in a lot of things. So this is confirmation. We also have here Sagittarius. We have communication. Again, confirmation of the King of uh, Swords. People perceive that you're a very effective communicator. And also, with the communication, as I told in the beginning, maybe sometimes your words are a bit sharp, you know. But this fact makes people think. You make people think a lot. Yes, you have a huge impact with your words on people, I feel. We have duality, and perhaps you know, guys, High Priestess is a card that is described to have a duality about her. So there is this duality between good and bad, between a divine feminine and divine masculine. So this is again confirmation about what I said before about you. And people perceive that about you, perhaps subconsciously, you know. We have here affection, so I feel this is pertaining to your gentle side here, as I told you, you are very sweet also with some people in your life, very affectionate, very kind, and uh, yeah, people perceive you as that as well. We have here purification, but we also have stimulation, so again, this is about your duality here. You are both innocent, but also hot. You are both an angel and the devil here. You are both bad and good. You are both feminine and masculine. So you have both. We also have the Gemini trait over here, which is about duality, right? So very interesting here, guys. Very interesting. So I would say here that your uh, reputation for people that, that don't know you that well, they say in the beginning that uh, you are very sweet, very feminine, very gentle. And then when they get to know you, they see that uh, you have this spicy side to you, this strength about you, you know. And now we have again the strength card. We also have abundance, a lot of abundant energy in you. I feel like you are spiritually evolved here. You worked on yourself, you are very self-aware. And if you have integrated all of these parts of yourself, this is very easy for you, as I told you before, the magician. To manifest, manifest abundance and everything good in your life. The universe is providing that to you. If not yet, guys, keep working on yourself. Maybe tap a little bit into your uh, spiritual gifts over here because you definitely have them if you don't know already. So look into that, work on yourself, uh, you know, have stronger boundaries, integrate your shadow and then everything will fall into place, you know. We have attraction, definitely. People perceive you as very, very attractive here. With the devil and the strength card. And also a lot of passion. You elicit this um, spiciness in people. A lot of passion as well. We have Leo sign again. We have victory. So with the victory, as I told you before, guys, uh, people perceive that you are very successful here. With the sun card that I told you, uh, they think that you have everything that you need in your life, uh, probably a lot of success already. And you also have agreement. So yeah, some people perceive that you are agreeable, maybe even a pushover in the beginning, but then uh, they regret, they have regrets after, you know, you just uh, walk away here. 
So we have healing again. You see guys, I'm not making these things up. You are a healer, definitely. You have uh, powers here. Gentleness again, yes. Another confirmation of your uh, femininity and gentleness. We have child and we have brother. So maybe you guys, uh, you have the reputation that uh, you help your family here, I get. Or even that you are very good mom if you have children. Right? You're very nurturing. Speaking the truth. Again, about the truth, about uh, clarity and about uh, the power of your words. You see, when you speak, your message here is very, very impactful to people. I would say, guys, that you change people's lives. And it's not dramatic to say that. Even if you don't know about it, people think about what you said after a long time. Maybe after a long time that you break up with these people, you know. Uh, yes, they still remember you after a very, very long time. We have here bravery. And this is card uh, is similar with the strength card. It's about courage, you know, strength, bravery of character. It's also talking about taking action. And here with the loss, this is your past people's loss and their regrets. They regret how they treated you guys. We have the Empress. Definitely your beauty here is popping. Also your nurturance. Um, as I told you, some people say for you guys that are a mother that you're a very good uh, parent here, I get. Also some of you might have an hourglass figure. I got this message. Very beautiful. Your skin is also very beautiful. But definitely you stand out. We have here a crown, crown. And before we had the crown, cards over here with success, I think. So you portray yourself as a queen, no matter what. We have the raven, and the raven to me speaks about ancestors. This is the symbol of ancestors to me, um, of spirit guides. So I would say that your spirit guides are very near you, they're protecting you, definitely helping you. But also the raven, I feel that you guys uh, have this... Uh, mystery about you, this dark side almost to you, difficult to tap in and that's why a lot of people are intrigued by you. You also have silence and before we had guys the four of swords so this tells me that you retreat sometimes and you prefer to be silent here as I said you don't uh, like drama so you might just uh, retreat to gather your energy because you don't want to take part in nonsense you also have persistence. So yes, I feel that you guys go after your goals and you persist. You also have here clear vision. And this is talking to me about the third eye. You have here a gift, definitely guys. Psychic gift, but you should look into it. You also have synchronicity. This card with this bird. So I feel here the message that your spirit guides are trying to help you. They are giving you signs, synchronicities, maybe this uh, reading is a sign for you to look into your spiritual gifts because uh, you are meant to know, if you don't know already. Because they will help you to get into your life's purpose path. So definitely look into that a little bit more. And here we have summer with the sun and you also have the sun. A lot of light, a lot of uh, brightness. So your reputation is that you are very, very smart. Very perceptive, very successful as well. You have light in you. Maybe you're a light worker, but people can sense that. And that's why sometimes, not all of you, but some of you guys might uh, attract some uh, toxic people here of lower vibrations, you know. So yes, keep that in mind as well. All right, pal two, I think that's all I had for you. If you like this reading, Give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, pal 3. Welcome, guys. If you chose this card with the white sage, this beautiful woman, this reading is for you. If you guys would like a personal reading from me, I do offer a same-day reading for $20. Also, check out in the description box, I have an announcement about my Patreon account. The 18 plus readings will be open until end of uh, April 2024. So please check out the announcement over there. Okay, let's start and let's see what about you. First two piles were amazing. Let's find out. 
what is your reputation here so i feel guys that you're very beautiful as well and also i feel that you're very resilient here that you have overcome a lot of obstacles in your life and that you emerged even more beautiful even more attractive it's like you have a reborn here for some of you all right let's find out now in more detail what's going on and what is your reputation let's see Okay, pile three. First of all, you came out as the Empress. So your reputation here is, guys, that uh, you might be a mother. For some, I get you might be a single mom. Not for all, of course. Some of you guys. And that you're doing your best for your children here, if you are. You're very protective, very good mom. With the Empress, you could be a business owner. For some of you, you might be successful here with a Sun card as well. And uh, you guys know how to manipulate things because we have the magician. Or that's how people view you. That you're very smart here. We have here page of swords as well. And we also have ace of pentacles. So this tells me that you have uh, very high standards. And uh, you're not going to accept, uh, you know, just anything. You scrutinize things here with the page of swords. And you want to be sure that you're getting quality in everything I get here in your romantic partners so you have uh, high expectations here high standards right with all of these cards but also in your uh, business if you have business or in your career or job you expect the best from yourself and also from the people around you ten of wands guys and you also have the justice so your reputation is that uh, sometimes you might be a bit difficult to deal with, a bit uh, hard to get if we're asking about uh, romantic partners, if you're asking about in general, about people in your life, in your environment, then these people think that it's uh, hard to deal with you sometimes because of your high standards, because um, you expect from people to meet your expectations or to treat you in a certain way. But I feel, guys, that you're a fair person. But of course this makes people uncomfortable sometimes, especially people that um, are used to deal with people that are maybe pushovers, you know, that maybe have low self-esteem. But with you this uh, doesn't fly here and that's why you trigger a lot of people I get with the justice card. So I get here a message that you guys uh, might have been or you are still uh, karmic to a lot of people. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't. But uh, yes, you are karmic. And one of your life's purpose is to be karmic to some people in order for them to realize some stuff. Okay, so here with the sun, either you guys have high expectations, high standards, or you're very successful. I feel in this pile this person is very wise. You know your worth and you have a high self-esteem. And because of that... If someone doesn't meet your standards, you just walk away with the Eight of uh, Cups over here. Because with this uh, black hole over here, if these people cannot meet what you need, if you miss something, then you prefer to walk away, you know. And I feel like you're doing it in a graceful way. But of course, people uh, sometimes don't like it. And you have this reputation here of, uh, you know, walking away. Some of you guys uh, might be divorced here. And uh, people are talking about that. That maybe you were expecting too much out of your marriage, you know. So yeah, that's one message here. Some uh, judgmental people talking about you. So these people think that uh, you expect too much here with the Page of Swords that you are scrutinizing everything. And also, here with the Nine of Pentacles, these people... Uh, believe guys that you are too independent that you might have a lot of masculine traits in you that you are hard to please you know also with the justice card and the ten of wands that uh, sometimes you might cut sharp with your words people 
And you get people out of balance here. Not only romantic partners, but in general people surrounding you. So here we also have the lovers. Okay, so as far as zodiac signs, we have Leo with the sun. We have Gemini with the lovers. Capricorn with the devil. And Libra with justice. So with the lovers, uh, you have the reputation that uh, you are very attractive. You have uh, sex appeal to you, very attractive here. Very beautiful. You attract a lot of attention. And also the lover's card speaks about uh, harmony, right, in relationships. And it's clarified with the Knight of Swords. And this tells me, guys, that sometimes you might be a bit flighty as this horse. Sometimes you might be a bit stubborn, or that's your reputation at least. That you leave relationships without looking back here and without... Uh, putting up with uh, people's, you know, uh, BS or giving second chances to people. So it's like you cut off immediately and you walk away. You're very determined and you act with boldness here. That's why I said before that you have this masculine side in you. And uh, you have this independence about you. And you think, guys, that you are a prize here. Maybe you're very successful, very attractive, very beautiful. You have everything. And you don't want to compromise here because you also have Ace of Pentacles and this tells me that you might be uh, viewing yourself as the prize, as you should actually. And uh, yeah, people also perceive that and that's why guys you believe that you don't have to put up with anything that you don't want right in your life and uh, you're quick to live here. I also get a message that some of your um, past people past partners, your exes, with the Ace of Cups clarified with the Eight of Swords over here. Because both of these women are having their eyes closed and they're looking upwards, right? I feel like uh, these people, your exes, feel like you are not emotionally available, that you were not willing to open yourself up completely to them. It's like uh, you didn't trust them. Or you didn't want to get vulnerable completely with them. Maybe that's why it was easier for you to walk away. Because I feel, guys, that you were able to be in relationships without being attached that much. Or that's how these people view you, at least, your ex is here. Maybe, <clears throat> guys, even if you were attached, these people thought that, uh, you know, if you walk away so easily, then you must not love me. And uh, with a the magician, these people think that uh, you manipulate things. That maybe you guys uh, were going after their money or something like that over here with the devil. Just for some, not all of you, but I get this message here. And also they believe with the magician that you have a lot of charm. That you have this uh, seductive energy about you also with the devil. And you can manipulate the situation with your feminine charm to get your way. To get everything that you want out of people and out of men, if you're interested in men here. Also, we have here three of swords. So, you have the reputation of a heartbreaker, actually, guys. And this is because maybe you have this, this sense of coldness to you or maybe you don't show your emotions easily. Maybe you are detached. Maybe because you know your worth, you wait first to see if people will meet your expectations and standards. And uh, yeah, I think it's easier for you to walk away here. And people that might get attached to you with the devil card over here, they don't feel very well after you leave. They feel heartbroken. Or maybe, guys, because uh, you are uh, the sun over here and the empress, very beautiful, very attractive, very successful. And uh, you draw in a lot of people. Uh, they might feel like you could reject them. That you are hard to get. I get these messages right now. Ten of Wands and Three of Swords. That you are the prize and you are hard to get, right? That's the reputation here. Alright, pile three. Very interesting. All three piles today are amazing. Very deep messages for you. So let's see now. I will draw some Oracle cards to see more what's going on. And uh, yeah, let's see. What's your reputation? Oh, 
Okay, we have here a victory, guys, with these uh, nice flowers, and we have this crown. Number 44 might be significant, you might see the synchronicities a lot. Also, Taurus uh, zodiac sign. So, your reputation is that you are very successful and that you worked hard for it, right? That you have also this regal, regalness about you. You portray yourself as a queen. You also have productivity, definitely you are a hard worker and you worked hard for your success, I feel. Number 8 with Cancer Zodiac sign. We have energy with this orange, right? Yes, definitely you have a lot of um, sacral chakra energy, a lot of passionate energy about you. You also have passion here with the Leo sign. Also, sacral chakra is about uh, confidence. Definitely, guys, you know your worth, and this shows outwardly. And also that you're very passionate here. That you also have uh, sexual energies about you, especially with the devil here. Very attractive. And you also have the beauty here with a unicorn, which I will talk about in a second. It's another confirmation of your attractiveness. So we have healing, we have affection, I think this pertains to the people that are a mother, you're a very good mom, you have very nurturing energy about you, for your children. We have ritual, some of you guys might be into the occult, uh, you might, uh, you know, do some rituals here, again, Leo, zodiac sign, and because of that, maybe some of you have these witchy vibes, because of that, people uh, believe that you're a bit manipulative, you know. We have regeneration. So with this card, uh, with this energy, I feel that you guys have overcome difficulties and you have emerged even stronger, as I said in the beginning. You also have here Taurus sign. We have fertility. Definitely some of your mothers here. You might even be pregnant for some. Again, Leo. Something's going on with the Leo here. <laughs> Okay, so fertility, yes, some of you might be looking youthful for your age, younger than your age. Um, curvy, some of you might have a nervous figure, nice figure in general. You also have the beauty with this unicorn, it definitely stands out. You have this uh, star quality almost about you, something very conspicuous about you. You are different and people can sense that. Or people know that, if they know you. Uh, yeah. Very, very beautiful here. Okay, so we have also wisdom. I told you guys that you are very smart in this pile. And you're not going to be fooled by anybody. Hence, we had before the magician. And uh, maybe some people get fooled by you, but not the other way around, you know. Okay, we have again here the leader. And the Empress, maybe you guys are a business owner, maybe you're a leader, maybe you're a boss. A good boss, I hear. You have the reputation of a good boss, if you are. But yes, you portray yourself as a queen here, I get. Very regal. And uh, you have, again, the magician. So you see, confirmation for you. So an interesting message I get with the magician two times that you got here, guys, is that... Um, you know how to manipulate in the sense that you you are going to get out of a situation and win. No matter how hard it is, the situation that you're going through. Because you know how to maneuver with your mind, with your charm and everything. Uh, yeah, people can be judgmental of that. Maybe they are jealous, that's why. You know there is a saying that uh, you're like a cat here. There is a saying about the cat that no matter how the cat jumps, she's going to land up on her four feet, right? So this is you, I feel. Maybe you guys have this uh, black cat energy about you. Which means that you're very mysterious and that you use your feminine charm, your advantage, you know. Very interesting. We also have communication. So, yes, we also had before Page of Swords, which is about communication. Definitely, when you speak, people listen to you, if you are a good leader here. Very good communication style. 
we have speed so I feel and also in tune so with these two cards I feel like you guys uh, as I told you before you are quick to get out of uh, you know situations or relationships that don't serve you because you know your worth here we have success again I told you before confirmation for you guys people see us very successful we have night vision I feel like uh, you have a particular way of seeing things. You see things from your perspective. Of course, all of us do. But uh, I feel like um, you guys maybe had a lot of experience in your life, like difficulties. And you can see something with an open mind and from different angles. And that's why you can manipulate very well and uh, get what you want because you see things that other people might not see. You know? Very smart. We have attraction. Definitely people see us very attractive. Imagination. This is about your mind again. Have an open mind. Imagination. Uh, you might be very creative as well in your work. Spiritual guidance. Maybe you guys are very wise and people come to you for advice and for guidance. We also have soulmate. So perhaps because you have these alluring energies about you, very captivating, a lot of people think that you are their soulmate and then uh, they get heartbroken. Because of course you cannot be everybody's soulmate. <laughs> it's a bit funny. But yeah, it can happen sometimes. I think I told the beginning that you look here resilient and persistent, right? And we have persistence. Yes, definitely guys, you get the job done. We have community. So the community, I feel either a lot of people are talking about you in the community, gossiping, or you guys are very well respected in your community. And we also have fall. And with the fall, I think that this pertains to people falling for you very easily. Because your energy, your way of being is very captivating to people. All right, pile three, very interesting. I loved your pile. If you enjoyed it as well, you can give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.